Today I have a new video for y'all. I'm going to do a full review on the carrot cake. I've already made a first impressions video on the Karen cake. I'll put that link below and I'll put it in the upper right corner. In this video, I'm going to try not to repeat myself too much of what I said in my first video. But, to get started, let's look at the label. Okay, the Karen cake is 7.1 ounces and that's 200 grams. That's approximately 383 yards or 350 meters. It's 80% acrylic and 20% wool. The care instructions say to hand wash and lay flat to dry. It's a medium four weight yarn. The suggested knitting needle is a size 5mm US 8 and the suggested crochet hook is a 5mm US H8. Each ball comes with a free pattern. I think that every ball has a different free pattern. Also, if you go to yarnspirations.com, they have tons of free patterns for the carrot cake. The colorway is rainbow sprinkles. There are so many different colorways. I'll insert some of those now. These are some of the colorways that the Karen Cake has to offer. I know that there are some more, and I think that there are some that have been discontinued. The Karen Cake is a cake, and it's a special cake because it's their 100 year anniversary or birthday. So, of course, they turn it into a cake which is really neat because the cake is very easy to use. Um, you just pull from the center and it just pulls out. And since the cake is flat on the bottom, it doesn't roll around or anything, so it's very easy to use. I love turning my regular yarn skeins into cakes with my yarn winder. I have a video tutorial and I'll put that link below. I really do like the feel of this yarn. I think it's really soft and it's a little bit squishy and I have crocheted with it quite a bit now and I really do think that it's very soft and I like crocheting with it. It glides on my hook very easily and I think it does a really good job. It does frog well. I have um, started over a couple of times with my projects and I've tried a few different stitches to see what I like and it does frog very well. It hasn't become itchy or felty looking or anything, even though it does have a little bit of wool in it. It doesn't seem to felt up very easily when I frog it, so that's really great. I love a yarn that I can frog because I love designing things, and it makes it so much easier if I can frog and not have to worry about my yarn getting all messed up and gross feeling and looking. The stripes in the yarn are color changing, but they are long color changing stripes. So you get a lot of um, a color before it changes to the next color. And it does change kind of dramatically. There's not much of a middle color, like it goes straight from yellow to green. There's not much of a, a mixture in there. Or if it changes from blue to yellow, there's not much mixture in, in there. Um, also, this yarn has speckles on it. So like the, the yellow yarn in it has like little green speckles and um, orange speckles and it's really pretty. I do like the speckly yarn, but if you're somebody that doesn't like speckled yarn or you're doing a project that you don't want to have different colors mixed in, this might not be the yarn for you. But I really do like it and I think it's really pretty and interesting and it's fun to crochet with. This yarn does have 383 yards, so there's a lot of yarn. I crocheted a poncho using the Solomon's Knot. If you've never crocheted the Solomon's Knot before, I have a video tutorial and I'll have that link below. 
but there is so much yarn that it did not use all the colors in the rainbow sprinkle Karen cake. After asking y'all what I should do, I think I'm going to make another poncho with the rest of the yarn so it will be different colors. And I may add fringe, I'm not sure, but I will have this pattern available soon. So my opinion on the Karen cake is that I think it's a really fun yarn to use. It has a lot of yardage so you can do a really big project with it if you want to and you only have to buy one cake. I think it's really soft and I like crocheting with it. I think it glides over my hook very well. All in all, I really do love the Karen cake. It's a fun yarn to crochet with and it's very soft. It glides over my hook easily. It frogs well and I think the color changes are a lot of fun. Um, I don't mind the dramatic color changes, especially for certain projects, and I, I really think this is a fun and good yarn to buy. If you want to try a new yarn and you haven't tried the Karen Cake, I suggest you give it a try. I hope y'all liked this video. If you did, please give it a huge thumbs up and a share. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe now so that you don't miss any future videos. You can also hit that notification bell so that anytime I upload a video, you will be notified and you won't miss it. I hope y'all are having a wonderful day and until next time, bye!